Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video we are going to continue with practice set 2.3 uh, part 2. In the previous video where uh, we had studied part 1 in that we had finished first three sums of the exercise whereas here we are going to continue with the next three sums fourth fifth and the sixth one. So uh, let us start. So this is what you have on your screen, which is 9y squared minus 12y plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, now how are we going to solve this sum? We are first going to check whether this equation is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So as we can see on our screen, yes, it is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So that's not a problem. But whenever we solve such kind of sum, we see to it that this a, the value of a should be 1. Yeah, but here it is 9. So our duty is to remove this 9 from the equation. So how do we do that? If I want to remove this 9 from this equation, I am going to divide this entire equation by 9. Yes, whenever we have to remove anything which is multiplied with the co uh, variable, we just divide it with the same number. So that's what I do. So we, when we have 9y square minus 12y plus 2, we divide it by 9. Okay, so what happens here? As a result, 9 and 9 disappears. Okay, 12 and 9 are divisible by 3, whereas 2 and 9 are not divisible. So, what do we get in the next step? We get y square. 9 by 9 is y square minus 12 and 9. 12 by 9y and 2 plus 2 plus 9. This can be further solved and written as y square minus 4 upon 3 y plus 2 upon 9. You will say how do we get this 4 upon 3? If, if you can see this is 3, 3 is a 9 and this is 3, 4 is a 12. Okay. This is what we get. Then once we get this equation, we are going to compare it. Now as you can see, this is in the form of x, uh, x square minus 2ab uh, minus 2xy plus y square like that it is. Yes. Or in other words, we can say we have our identities where we had a formula a minus b the whole square. So, if we expand it, we get a square minus 2ab plus b square. So, this is in that form. Okay, like we had. So, here what am I going to do like we did in the previous exercise. We are going to compare the first two terms. Okay, y square minus 4 upon 3y. And this we are going to compare with what? See, normally our formula is a plus b the whole square. So, in, that, in this case, I will write down y plus say z square. So, y plus z square. If I say it is equal to y square plus 2xy, uh, sorry, 2yz plus z square. Okay. So here I'm going to compare this y square minus 4 upon 3y with this. So let us do that. So comparing y square minus 4y upon 3 with y square minus 2z. Yes, I'm so sorry. This will be minus since we're having the minus sign here. Okay. So then what do we get when we do this, children? This y square and y square is equivalent, not a problem. So what do we get after that? We get minus 4 upon 3y is equal to minus 2yz. So that's what we write in the next step. So minus 2yz is equal to 4 minus 4 upon 3y. Now since we have yy here, we are going to bring it on the other side and we are going to find out the value of z. So this minus 2y is on the left hand side. It is going to go on the right hand side. But this 2y has been multiplied with z so when it will go on the other side it will go in the denominator it will be a part of a division so minus 4y and this c here this minus 4y remains the same this 3 also remains the same this 2y comes down okay that's how we calculate and then we are just going to solve it further now so how do we do that so now let us have a look at what we are going to do further so, we are going to find out the value of z and for that what we are going to do, we are going to multiply this. So, as you can see, minus 4y is in the numerator and 3 twos are 6. Is, uh, 3 twos are 6 and it's minus sign. So, in the next step we get this. So, y and y is going to get cancelled. Minus and minus will also disappear. 4 and 6. Okay, 4 and 6 are divisible by 2. So, we have 2 upon 3. But we are not supposed to find out only z. We just square it, right? So z square is equal to 4 upon 9. So what are we going to do now? Hence, we are going to substitute this 4 upon 9 after y, y square minus 4 upon 3 y. Okay. So as we always do, 
we write this is our original equation now what what we got what we got was 4 upon 9 which we add and subtract if you can see this 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 is a we this is what we have put in between the given equation the original equation right so that's what we do we plus 4 upon 9 minus 4 upon 9 which we have got from the previous uh, this thing so now what do we get here as you can see we are going to form two groups okay so we are going to form two groups here the of the first three terms and the next two terms so here that's what we do since there is a minus sign here we be careful and we this is minus sign that we write here for 4 upon 9 but this is 2 upon 9 is having plus sign so if you're putting it inside the bracket this minus sign will come inside okay now the next step will be identifying whose expansion is this first bracket okay so y square minus 4 upon 3 where plus 4 upon 9 is an ex expansion of check the first and the third term y square and 4 upon 9 so y square is a square of y and 4 upon 9 is a square of 2 upon 3 see 4 is a square of 2 and 9 is a square of 3 so, and also there is a minus sign here here minus sign here so that's why our equation this is an expansion of y upon 2 up, y minus 2 upon 3 the whole square this is the expansion of this and the next bracket we are just going to solve as you can see this is 4 minus 2 so 4 minus 2 is going to be 2 upon 9 okay but we are going to find out whose square is 2 upon 9 because we are going to turn this into a square minus b square so this is already a square let us convert this to b square so 2 is not a perfect square but we can convert it to a perfect square by taking the square of root 2 yeah and 9 is a square of 3 so in the next step we will write it in other form okay so as you can see here as you can see here this is root 2 square and this this bracket you're going to just this cannot be written like this the bracket is going to be like this okay it should be like this everywhere not only on 2 it should be long one okay so these brackets should be the longer ones okay so now as you can see this is in the form of a square minus b square a square minus b square here yes, you can see this is a square minus b square so the expansion of a square minus b square is what a plus b a minus b right so what is our a here a is entirely y minus 2 upon 3 whereas root uh, b is root 2 upon 3 so instead of a I will write down y minus 2 and instead of b, I will write down root 2 upon 3. So, y minus 2 upon 3 plus root 2 and in the other bracket, y minus 2 upon 3 the root 2. Okay. Then after this, we are going to separate them. We are going to write down 0 for each of the brackets. So, we will write down first bracket is equal to 0 and the other bracket is also equal to 0 okay and then we just have to find out the value of y so we'll shift this on the other side so minus 2 upon 3 when it goes on the other side it will become plus 2 upon 3 see here this is what we get when we shift both of them okay so that's how we solve the value of we get the value of y right so hence these are the two final answers you can check the denominator yeah so the denominator is same so we can just add the numerators we can write down 2 plus root 2 upon 3 and 2 minus root 2 upon 3 together and that's that is what our root of equation is okay the next one we have is the fifth sum now in the fifth sum again if you see this is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 but the problem is uh, in, in place of a you have 2 here okay like the previous sum so again what will uh, what I'll have to do we'll have to divide this by 2 so when we divide this by 2 this 2 and 2 will get cancelled yes so only y will remain 9 and 2 cannot be reduced so it will remain as it is whereas 10 upon 2 if you reduce you will get 5 and 0 upon 2 obviously 0 upon 2 is 0 so this will become like this so this this got cancelled we got y square 9 upon 2 as it is 10 upon 2 is 5 and 0 upon 2 is 0 so this is our equation 
So we are going to compare this with a plus b the whole square, right? This equation. So we are going to compare. If we consider a plus b the whole square, the expansion is a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? And in this case, if I take this variables, y is there. So y square plus 2 uh, 2yz plus z square. So this can be the expansion. So we are going to compare y square plus 9y upon 2 with y square plus 2yz. So that's what we do here. And then after doing this, we are just going to compare it. So as we can see, when we compare y square and y square, not a problem. But 9 upon 2y and 2yz, they can be compared. Yeah, so that's what we are going to compare. 9y upon 2 is equal to 2yz. So since we have y here, we are just going to com compare, uh, shift everything else on the other side. So you can see here, this 9y is in the numerator, this 2 is in the denominator, and this, since we are finding out z, this 2y we are shifting here. Okay, so this is here. And now we are going to multiply 9y upon 2 to the 4y. So 9, up, 9 upon 4y, and y will also get cancelled, yeah. So 9 upon 4 is equal to z. So z square is equal to 81 upon 16 because the square of 9 is 81 and the square of 4 is 16. Okay, now we are going to proceed further and we are going to put the z square here. Okay, so we are going to add here, we are going to take our equation, this, this one. And in between this, we are going to insert. This was our original equation. Let me remove this from the screen. So it is visible to you all clearly. Okay. So this was our original equation, children. And when we are what we are going to do z square. So we are going to put the z square here after 9y upon 2 plus 81 upon 16 and minus 81 upon 16. So let us do that. See as you can see in black color, I have input that uh, 81 upon 16 in between. Yeah. After this what we are going to do is we are going to make the first three terms we are going to put the first three terms in the first bracket and we are going to put the next uh, two terms in the other bracket since there is minus sign outside the second term in the second bracket has the negative sign since there is a minus sign here this minus sign remains as it is but this plus becomes the minus okay this bracket can be extended further i don't have that option here that's why I have put short, but this bracket should be the longer one, bigger ones, okay. So, here. So, now again, I will check whose expansion is y square, uh, y square plus 9y upon 2 plus 81 upon 16. So, for that, we have to take the first and the third sum, uh, term, right? So, the first term is y square and the third term is 81 upon 16. So, whose square are those? So, y square is a square of y. And 81 upon 16, 81 is 9, there is a square of 9 and 16 is a square of 4. So, y plus 9 upon 4 square and 81 minus upon 16 minus 5. So, 16 5s will be 80. If you cross multiply and 81 1s will be 81. So, 81 1s are 81 and 16 5s are, see this is like this. If you do not understand, uh, see you how do you solve this? This can be considered as 1. So, 81 into 1 will be 81 minus 5 into 16 will be 80 upon 16 ones are will be 16 so 81 minus 80 is going to be 1 and 16 in the denominator so that's how we get our answer so now what we are going to do is we are going to take the square whose square is 1 and whose square is 16 okay so as we know 1 is a square of 1 and 16 is a square of 4 so we're just going to substitute those values there and you are going to write it in the form of a square minus b square. Okay. So, in the next step, we are going to extend this, the brackets. Okay. So, this becomes, this first remains as it is. And the second one, you take this 1 as a square of 1 and this 16 as a square of 4. Okay. So, now after doing this, we will check what is our a and what is our b. So, if you see in this equation, your a is y plus 9 upon 4 fully right whereas your b is 1 upon 4 as you can see here see this is b and this is entirely a 
So this is in the form of a square minus b square whom we are going to expand and we are going to write down a plus b a minus b. So a plus b means if you can see here a plus b means y plus 9 upon 4 a plus b. So y plus 9 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4 and a minus b means y plus 9 upon 4 minus 1 upon 4. Right? So that's what we write down in the next step. Since the denominator is same we add the numerator so 9 plus 1 will be 10 upon 4 and 9 minus 1 will be 8 which upon 4. So 10 upon 4 if we divide it by 2 okay it is divisible by 2. So what do we get here this is 2 2s are 4 2 5s are 10. This is 4 1s are 4 4 2s are 8. So y plus 5 upon 2 is 1 and y plus 2 is next one. Now we will write down separately y plus 5 upon 2 we will write down y plus 5 upon 2 is equal to 0 or y plus 2 is equal to 0. Then we are going to find out the value of y. So 5 upon 2 will shift on the other side. So it will become minus 5 upon 2 and plus 2 will shift on the other side. It will become minus 2. So we get two roots that is minus 5 and 2. So these are the roots of the given quadratic equation. After this we come to the last sum of the exercise that is the sixth one. So here if you see firstly the sum is not in the form of ax square plus bx plus c. So we are going to first arrange it in the form of ax square plus bx plus c. So 5x square remains here, ax square plus bx. That means this 4x will come on the left hand side. But this 4x is positive. So when we shift it to the left hand side, it will become minus 4x. Similarly, plus 7 when it will come here, it become minus 7. So this is what we get. Also, we see that a is not 1. Okay, a is 5. So we are going to divide the entire equation by 5. So what will happen when we divide this by 5? You get this. Why? Because this and this gets cancelled. So you get x square. 4 upon 5 cannot be divided and 7 upon 5 also. So that's what we get now. Now after doing this, we are going to find, we are going to compare this. Okay. So what are we going to compare this with? We are going to compare this with, if you can see this is x square minus 4x upon 5. So this will be is an expansion of a square minus 2ab plus b square. So this is x square. So if I compare this, I am going to compare this with x square minus 2xy. Okay, and then if I see this x and x are equal, so I don't have to compare them. But minus 4 upon x, 4 upon 5x is equal to minus 2xy. I want to find out the value of y, so I'll shift this minus 2x here down in the denominator. So this becomes like this. Okay, now 5 2 i is going to be 10 or you can cancel 2 and this also. So that gives us 2 upon 5 is equal to y. How? 2 1s are 2 2s are. Also this x and this x gets cancelled. So in the numerator we have my 2 and the denominator we have 5 whereas minus sign disappeared. Minus sign is this minus and here one more minus was there. So the minus sign disappears like this. See you can see the minus sign in the denominator. So that's minus and this minus gets cancelled. So we are left with 2 upon 5. So square is 2 square which is 4 and 5 square which is 25. So this is what we get y square is equal to 4 upon 25. After doing this, we are just going to add it in the given equation. So as you can see, five, we are going to take add it here. x square minus 4x. This is the equation, original equation. We are going to insert this here, y here, and after the two terms. So in black, you can see we have put plus 4 upon 25 minus 4 upon 25. And then we are going to make the groups, the brackets. The first three terms in one bracket and the other two terms in the other bracket as always. Since there is a minus sign here, we are putting a bracket so the this sign changes to plus, okay? Because if you check minus into this will be minus 4 upon 25 and minus into plus will be minus 7 upon 5. Now if I expand this x square, this is an expansion already. So we are going to find out whose expansion is this x square and 4 upon 5. So x square is the square of x and 4 upon 25 is a square of 2 and 5. So this becomes if this is a given equation, this becomes like this. x minus 2 upon 5 whole square. This is minus sign. Yes. And 2 upon 5. Minus 5. See here. Now we have to add this. But the denominator is not same children. So when the denominator is not change, same, we have to change it to the same number. So when we have 25 and 5, the LCM of 25 and 5 will be 25. Because one such number which is common to 5 table and 25 table. These are the two denominators, right? So how do, do we find out the LCM? So 25 ones are 25, 25 twos are 50 and so on. This is 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, 5 threes are 15, 
फाइव फोर जार ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव जार ट्वेंटी फाइव सो द कॉमन नंबर टू बोथ इज ट्वेंटी फाइव या फर्स्ट लली इज कॉमन मल्टीपल सो वी आर गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट दिस फाइव ऑल्सो टू ट्वेंटी फाइव सो इफ यू गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट दिस फाइव टू ट्वेंटी फाइव आई हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस विद फाइव राइट सो आई मल्टीप्लाई दिस विद फाइव विच गिवस मी एंड ऑल्सो आई मल्टीप्लाई Uh, numerator with five because whenever you do anything in the denominator, the same thing you do in the numerator. So this gives me x minus two upon five, and this gives me five five is a twenty five and seven five is a thirty five. Okay, now what are we going to get here? Twenty five is the denominator, so we are going to add the numerators, so it will be thirty nine upon twenty five. Now thirty nine is not a perfect square. So what we'll do? We'll this will be the square of root thirty nine, right? So and twenty five is a square of five. So this will be root five square. So this will be the bigger bracket, children. You have to draw a little bigger bracket. Okay. So that's how we. Okay. Then we are just going to write this in the form of a plus b a minus b so our in a is entire this x minus 2 upon 5 so x my a plus b so x minus 2 upon 5 plus root 39 upon 5 and in the next bracket x minus 2 upon 5 minus root 39 upon 5 now 5 is in the denominator so we add the numerators so we write it together Firstly, we write it separately, okay, and then we shift the entire minus two point five. When it goes, it becomes this two point five, and plus when it goes there, it becomes minus. Similarly, this minus two point five when it goes on the right hand side, it becomes plus, and this minus root thirty nine point five when it goes on the other side, it becomes plus. Yeah, okay. So that's how we get now. Since the denominator is same, we'll add the numerators. So two minus root thirty nine upon five and two plus root thirty nine. We cannot add these numbers because this is an irrational number, whereas this is a natural number. So we cannot add or subtract them. So these are the. This is the final answer that these two are the roots of the given quadratic equation. Thank you very much.